So I got the Dragapan V6 and well, about a nearby hill close to my close to where I live. As you can probably hear right now, is a red deer rutting season. And there are a lot of them on this hillside. Now I think to be aware of here is that this is a shooting estate. They they do hunt deer here, so if you're gonna do if you're gonna do anything like this, it's good to talk with the landowners first. And I've done that. He's kind enough to come with me, and I could just kind of explain what I wanted to do, where I was gonna be, and that way I can do it safely without accidentally getting in the way of stalkers or anything like that. I'm scaring the deer away now, but uh, I need to find a position for the hide. It's coming close to sunset. I want to get the hide up before it gets dark, and then be back here tomorrow morning in the dark and hopefully get in relatively unseen and, uh, and photograph some red deer rutting. Okay, so I found a little area here, it's relatively flat. It's a little bit of a dip down, a little bit of a raise behind me. So um, I'm hoping this is gonna be fairly hidden here. Okay, all set up. Time to go home, get to bed, get out here for early morning while it's still dark.
just such an experience. I can hear them all around me. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's a really good thing that I've got these little peep holes here. And I have, on several occasions, I've had red deer on this left one here. And I've opened it up and I've shot through with my lens. I've just poked my lens through. Far enough away so they didn't notice and they were busy chasing each other anyway. But I never would have gotten that kind of shot if I didn't have that. And also, it's a great way of just paying attention to seeing what's going on because it's actually it's really tricky when you're sitting in a hide like this and you're trying to have everything covered up. You don't want to give away any, any you don't want them to see you, you don't want them to see in, you don't want to give away light, and you also don't want to give away smells. So, you have to really. Close as much as you can. I keep, I keep these tiny holes here so I can. Been a great two days off here. I had better luck yesterday with the Kim, but closer. Nicer weather today though. But it's been good fun. And the new V6, the camouflage, been excellent. I had a I had a stag walk basically 20, 20 meters away from me yesterday, right next to the hide, walk right past me, didn't see me, didn't smell me, nothing. And today, nothing. They just go about their business. And I've been sitting here, as you can see here, out kind of in the open, but I've had the hill behind me. So I'm not sticking out uh, on the horizon or anything like that. I'm not making a silhouette myself. So perfect couple of days. And um, links are below for where you can pick up these hides on the website, tragopan-shop.com for Europe, or photography blinds for the US and Canada. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Catch you guys next month where I take more Tragopan gear out into the field for some wildlife photography. I'll see you then.